What's up, spectators? Welcome back to another episode of Ace Attorney Investigations 2. Last time, we deduced that the location John was most likely taken was to the trash dump north of the Coliseum because we heard fireworks. But now, Edgeworth wants to testify and prove that Patricia Rowland and Blaze DeBest were connected. Which piece of evidence shows the relationship between Patricia Rowland and Blaze? Now, let's... it's gotta be something we've got, gotten recently. I don't really remember the details a lot of the evidence. Like, I don't remember what's on this. From the bug? That can't be it. Nightly's mementos? Oh, is this it? That might be it. Oh! Oh, it says it right there! Come on now. This document contains a detailed report regarding the interrogation of a certain man. That man being the late Horace Knightley. And the one who interrogated him was the defendant in this trial, Patricia Rowland. So that means that was the interrogation where... That's right. Patricia Rowland murdered Knightley in the aftermath of the interrogation. And that very interrogation has been recorded in this written report. That definitely sounds like vital evidence. Miles Edgeworth, just now you referred to the document as a written report. Now, just who in the world was that report written for? I thought you might ask that, Francisca. And that's precisely what is most important about this report. We found this document inside the safe in the storeroom on the 51st floor of the Grand Tower. The 51st floor? The storeroom for the black market auction. Indeed. And the conductor of the auction was you, Blaze. You received a report about the victim from Warden Roland. In the face of this evidence, can you still say you have no connection to this case? In regards to that, I refuse to answer. What? It is yet to be proven in court that I was the conductor of the black market auction. Oh, have you already forgotten the events of this morning? I believe I already proved it back then, did I not? I will not deny that I was bested by you. However, that was at the crime scene. Who knows if the results will be the same in court? An acquittal is still possible, you see. Until it's been proven in court that I am the conductor of the black market auctions. You can't prove that document was addressed to me. Your logic's twisted. That's not very nice, you know. My logic isn't twisted, is it, Courtney? Don't you feel the same way? It was quite unlike you to allow former Prosecutor Edgeworth's statement just now, you know. It sounds me, you see, that you would fail to uphold the law as a judge should. In fact, I'm so upset by this, I may have no other choice but to use my last resort, you know. It is as you say. Something that has not been proven in court does not merit any deliberation. I will have to overrule Mr. Edgeworth's claim. As I thought. Until John's been rescued. You see, the truth at the scene and the truth in the courtroom are two very different things. So, you're saying the truth can be distorted in court as long as it's for your sake. What a horrible thing to say! I'm not distorting the truth or anything like that, you know. If a not guilty verdict is handed down, then that becomes the truth. That's all it is, you see? It's useless. There's nothing we can do unless the missing evidence turns up. Now then, Courtney, why don't you deliver a not guilty verdict and let's get this over with? After all, that evidence isn't going to show up anytime soon, you know. Objection! Oh my. Who raised an objection just now? There's a lot of prosecutors in this office. Oh, uh, in this courtroom right now. Why'd you come back here? Now of all times. Sebastian, what is the meaning of this? 
Just where were you and what have you been doing since you abandoned your own trial? I'm sorry, I was, um... Such an act is unbecoming of a prosecutor. You should be ashamed. I, uh, well... Sebastian, you still don't get it, you know. This court has no place for a sniveling child such as yourself. Pops, I... I... Whoa, look at that macho face he's pulling on. Oh my. I've come to present new evidence, Your Honor. So, so please, let me take my place back at the prosecutor's bench. There we go. I got through it. Sebastian, I didn't think you would come back. Objection. <laughs> What's all this now, Sebastian? You don't seem at all like your normal self. Pops. Hmm? Come now, what's the matter? You want Daddy to play with you? Is that it? Well then, why don't we just head on back home? Return to the witness stand! What's wrong? You're shaking like a leaf. Objection! Your Honor, the prosecutor officially in charge of this case has just arrived with new evidence. The trial is still in session. In light of this, shouldn't we continue with the proceedings? Naturally, the defense has no objections, Your Honor. I'm sure the defense attorney originally in charge would say the same. The prosecution has no objections either, Your Honor. Continue with the proceedings? That won't be necessary. Isn't that right, Courtney? Blaze still believes that he has... Uh, he was the one who kidnapped John. As long as... Uh, come on. I'm, oh, I'm just struggling so hard. As long as John still hasn't been found, Judge Courtney will remain bound by Blaze, and nothing else will be... Oh. oh, I'm so sorry. That sound is... Her cell phone. My phone as well? Mr. Edgeworth! Mr. Shields! We found John! We rescued John! Excellent work, detective! That kid was the most important piece of evidence, right? Way to go, Kay. I wanted to spread the word quickly, so I had everyone call. Judge Courtney, it's for you. Yes, I see. I'm so glad you're safe. Make sure you properly thank everyone, okay? Be careful and come home safe. Let us resume the proceedings. Now that I may once again swing my gavel to my heart's content. Ha! You're kidding, right? This is just a sad joke, you know. Witness, this is no joke. Please return to the stand. Prosecutor DeBest as well. Promptly return to your seat at the prosecutor's bench. Yes, Your Honor. Sebastian DeBest. Yes, Miss Von Karma? I leave the rest to you. Going up against your own father. It won't be easy. I shall observe how things pan out. From the gallery. Now then, allow me to ask once more. Is the prosecution ready? Prosecutor DeBest, what is this new evidence you wish to present? The missing knife and chisel, your honor. You mean they've finally been found? ay 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 DeBest, is this true? The knife and chisel 
I wasn't able to find them. What? I searched and searched. I really did, but... It was already too late. What do you mean? I remembered this morning when I passed by Pops in the garage at home. He was holding something wrapped in a newspaper. Pops, where are you going? Ah, oh, Sebastian, just taking out some trash. At that moment, I heard it. The faint sound of a bell. Could that sound have been by any chance? The bell attached to Doggin's chisel? In other words, you're saying that the witness threw away the evidence. I searched for it, but I didn't make it in time. I'm sorry. Where exactly did you search for it? The garbage dump. I went to the garbage dump and searched everywhere. I thought the evidence Pops threw away had to be there. Isn't that... Sebastian? What are you doing here? Whoa! He ignored us. So at that time, he'd gone to the garbage dump. But... This was all I could find. This is... It smells rather peculiar. Now that you mention it, there's kind of a funky smell coming from you as well. What do you expect? I was digging through garbage. And what are the knife? I think it's buried somewhere in that giant mountain of trash. But I couldn't find it by myself. I understand. I shall accept this into evidence. Ha ha ha! Well done, Sebastian! You never betray my expectations. You search so desperately through the garbage that that's all you have to show for it. Oh, what a tearjerker. I'm tearing up already. Objection. It's a bit too early for tears, don't you think? We haven't examined the evidence properly yet. I think it's just a pointless waste of time, you know. I'm counting on you, Sebastian Miles. Show him that the truth can be exposed in court and take him down. It's so funny, because he's not even trying to act like a defense attorney. We're just all ganging up on him. It's just like six million prosecutors in this room. The best. Let's take a close look at the evidence. Right. Bum 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 bum. What is this, a skull? It looks almost like a skull. What am I looking for? Let's have a look inside. It'd be great if we could find some kind of proof. Oh, I thought it was a rock. It's not a rock. This is the bell that was attached to Doggin's chisel. Are there any traces left behind on it? It's no good. There's not even a single smudge on it. What did you find, DeVest? Did you even find anything? Darn it. Of course you'd find nothing. Something like that can't be called evidence, you know? All it is is trash. It may be sad, but that's the truth, you see? Were Sebastian's efforts all for naught? Indeed, the spell does not seem to be valid evidence. However, Mr. Edgeworth, are you really giving up? Calm as always, Edgeworth. Quite unlike Sebastian here. Well then, is the prosecution finished with its argument? Objection! Justine, not yet. We're not through yet. There's still something we haven't yet uh, examined. You're still not giving up? Struggling in vain's not cute at all, you know. It seems Sebastian hasn't given up yet either. I was just thinking the exact same thing. The last item remaining. Is it trash or is it evidence? If we don't examine it, we'll never find out. The item I'm thinking of is... The newspaper? We're still not done examining the newspaper that the bell was wrapped in. It seems that Sebastian has the same idea as I do. Wow, this is just wonderful, you know. 
So wonderful it's to cry for. Is it desperation or simply reckless abandon? Are you really going to pin all your hopes on a worthless scrap of newspaper? We won't know for sure whether or not it's worthless until we examine it, will we? Sebastian, let's examine it post haste. On the other side? Well, what do you know? A big palm print with D and the blah blah blah. Death, that's right, it's a death. Is this a handprint? There's something greasy on here too. Is it oil? Judge Courtney, we'd like to request a fingerprint analysis on this paper. Could you please summon someone from forensics? Your request is accepted. Contact the lab at once. Reporting, these are definitely fingerprints. However, it's from a glove. What? Didn't I tell you, it's nothing but a worthless scrap of paper. Just think about it, you know. When handling important evidence, what kind of idiot wouldn't use gloves? Oh wait, wouldn't that be you? The idiot who doesn't know when to give up? That's pretty harsh, talking to your son like that. What's wrong with calling an idiot an idiot? If you want to be the best, you have to be heartless. I have no compassion for worthless individuals, not even my own son. Pops! I... You know, you've always called yourself a genius prosecutor, haven't you? Didn't I explain to you this morning why you were a genius up until now? That's right. It was all because of me. Because of my authority. You were always being protected by people like Courtney. And me. Now get that stinking face of yours out of my sight. Stinking? You know, now that I think about it, that stench might just suit you perfectly. Just keep it away from my nose, or my eyes will start watering. Objection! Wrong. You're wrong, Pops. Sebastian, what are you talking about? You're the one who stinks. It's you, not me. What? You haven't noticed, have you? You smell, Pops. So much that you can't even hide it. Mr. Edgeworth, try smelling the handprint on the newspaper. The smell? It smells like oil. I know something that smells just like it. Come to think of it, back then. It smells like motor oil. Maintaining that motorcycle must be Blaze's hobby. That's right. The smell proves it. It proves that the culprit who hid the evidence was... It's no good. I guess I can't become the best after all. I'm too soft. I could never be so heartless. I just can't bring down my father with my own hands. Prosecutor the best. Summon! Become a different prosecutor from your father. Wasn't that what you decided? We are prosecutors, and as prosecutors, we stand in the courtroom. In that case, isn't it our duty to shed light on the truth? Exposing crimes and bringing criminals to justice. Even if the criminal is your own father. That is your duty, as a prosecutor. Didn't I promise you, that if you have the courage to stand up, I will show you the way. And if you cannot do it alone, then we shall do it together. Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth. And with- oh, wait, hold on. Wait, 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 I was gonna end it, but- Oh, no, we can- we can present it really quick. We've got the time to- oh, the gloves, there it is. We got a little more time. This is the smell of motor oil, the kind used for maintaining motorcycles. Both myself and Mr. Edgeworth have smelled this exact same smell before. Blaze the best. It was in your garage. 
And wouldn't you say these fingerprints have a rather peculiar shape? The five letters that spell out DEATH? It's exactly the same as your own gloves. Objection. Haha, <laughs> you can buy gloves like that from anywhere. It doesn't prove a thing. Objection. Is that really the case? That's not the only thing that has two pieces of evidence have in common. That these, yes. The fingerprints on the newspaper that was used to wrap up the bell. And Blaze's mechanics gloves. This is the unmistakable similarity they both share. I guess this weird little bits of something. This is the un- wait, uh-oh. Oh, I got it wrong. I guess it could be the dirt on the... on the palm of the hand? No, that's pretty much where I was pointing originally. What am I looking for? Unmistakable similarity. But besides the letters. What is it? If you examine the imprint left by the letter A, you'll see it's unmistakably from this glove. What? And that's not all. There's one more item we must take note of, namely these dirt stains. I suggest we do a comparative analysis of the dirt stains from the newspaper and the glove. If the contents match up, then it will prove to be decisive evidence. Bailiff! Please have these dirt samples sent to forensics for analysis immediately. Edgeworth! Sebastian! You lonely prosecutors! Do you have any idea who I am? Pops! You can't run away anymore. It's been proven in court that you concealed the evidence. And that you tried to cover for the defendant. You're saying that I'm guilty? That I'll be sent to prison? Me? Blaze the best? A couple of snot-nosed punks are gonna make me disappear? There must be some mistake. Objection. Be a man and admit your crimes. Objection. Do you really think you can survive if I'm not around? I'll be fine now. I thought I wanted to become the best prosecutor so I can get your approval. But when I was kidnapped by your men, and stuck in that dark room, I started thinking. I am truly powerless. I despaired and averted my eyes from the truth. But... At that moment, Mr. Edgeworth stepped in and showed me the way. And now I am no longer just a child chasing after his father's approval. I have become capable. I can find evidence all on my own now. My men kidnapped you? Why were you? Pops, I'll show you the truth you never knew through this trial. Sebastian, how dare you speak to me like that? You should have just stayed as an idiot son. You may have hated me to the very end, Pops. But I've always looked up to you. Thank you for everything up until now. And goodbye. Since when did you? All you've ever been able to do is depend on me. It has been established that the evidence was concealed by Blaze to best himself. A judgment regarding his concealment of evidence shall be delivered at a separate trial. The missing chisel and knife still have yet to be found. However, once a search of the waste disposal site is underway, they will surely be discovered. The knife will be found? What will happen to me if it's found? No need to worry. You'll simply receive the punishment you deserve for your crime. Punishment? For me? 
place? What in the world are you doing? You! After all, you're boasting about being able to create your own truths and not guilty verdicts. That's why I contacted you immediately after the prison incident in the first place. And to make matters worse, you even kidnapped the wrong kid. I just can't believe this. You really, really, really are completely useless. That was certainly a violent outburst, but you heard her, prosecutor the best. Yeah, she got flustered and said a bunch of important stuff, right? Indeed, that's correct. He still doesn't seem very sure of himself. Very well, and with that, this court is adjourned. Not so fast. What? Hmm? Ooh! Okay. Now, I am definitely gonna end this video, because this is gonna be a cliffhanger ending, and also, we- he's gonna have a long explanation of something that's gonna happen, and we're, we're gonna say that for the next video. So stay tuned for that one, and thanks for watching. Bye bye